Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Ben. Hope everyone had a safe, healthy, and happy new year. It's 2024. Hopefully this year is better than the last one, no matter how good the last one was for y'all. Um, my 2023 was just sort of okay. Um, but I am really thankful and happy that I have over 100 subscribers now on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to keep on <clears throat> pumping out these food reactions. Hopefully they're fun. They make you smile. And um, I normally in include the price um, point as well as my opinion. So hopefully you get some ideas on, on what to eat and what not to eat um, on the cheap. Um, just one small request. If y'all could hit like and subscribe and share your thoughts. I love reading through the comments and also helps uh, with the algorithm to to get this out to uh, to more people. I'm obviously not doing this for the money. I can't even, I'm not even eligible for monetiza monetization until uh, 1,000 subscribers. So, um, but that's not why I'm doing this in the first place. I just want to connect with people all over the world because uh, and I don't have a lot of money to travel. Uh, so I'm, uh, but thankfully. Uh, you know, I'm blessed to live in a great location here in between San Antonio and Austin, Texas. So I get to see a lot of great things and a lot of great people. But I like to connect with people all over the world, and especially when it comes to, to to food and talking about food and food reviews. Um, that's sort of my passion. So um, if you can hit like, subscribe, add a comment, you know, that really helps out the algorithm. Um really helps me out and so yeah it gives me motivation to make more videos okay so I actually do have a food review for y'all today um, so here it is it is Pringles bursting with flavor pizza flavored <laughs> love this design on the can so this was 224 $2.24 it is how many ounces is it oh there it is 5.5 ounces now <clears throat> I do eat Pringles quite regularly but I normally get the salt and vinegar or just the regular flavored um, it's been a really long time since I had the pizza really I'm talking like maybe 10 15 maybe even longer 10 15 years maybe even longer so that's why I selected it today um, I've heard lots of different different opinions about pizza flavored Pringles especially people um, from other countries uh, where you cannot buy pizza flavored Pringles their sort of, their opinions sort of bounce all over the place um, so that's why I wanted to review these today. So let's open them up. The plastic. And then the pop top. There they are. So they smell. Well, there's a few broken on top. That's always a bummer. One reason why I buy Pringles is because they should all be uniform. But you know what? That's not too bad. There's always a handful that are broken like that, right? Um... They definitely smell like some sort of cheese powder. I wouldn't call it like a pizza smell. Where you've got like the crust and the cheese and the sauce all working in harmony to produce a smell. This is um, obviously just like a cheese powder smell. But it looks like they're well seasoned. They've got quite a bit of uh, that powder quite a bit of that powder all over them yeah it's like a spicy cheese smell so let's see how they taste you know I don't know how they do this but you do get like a cheese flavor at first. And then you get like a marinara sauce type flavor. And then you do you do sort of get like a little 
pizza crust flavor. I don't know if that's just like the potatoes uh, at the end that are coming through and I'm thinking it's like a pizza crust flavor, but I, yeah, I don't know how they do it. It does sort of, the taste does sort of represent like all three like foundations of a pizza, like the cheese, the sauce, the crust. heavily heavily flavored I guess that's maybe my only negative opinion about these guys is they are so I have so much flavor I'm not sure if I could eat more than maybe like 10 or 11 crisps and I'm looking at the back of it now and it says 14 14 crisp is one serving so that sounds about right for me I could probably eat about 14 of these max before the flavoring would just get to be too much. The cumulative effect of the flavoring would be too much. Uh, would I buy these again? Sure. Especially for $2.24. I mean, they're the same price as any other uh, regular flavored Pringles. Um, if you want to get like the extra tall can, obviously that's more, but you know, pizza flavor doesn't cost any more than regular salt and vinegar. Um, but there is a difference with the salt and vinegar or the regular. I could definitely destroy the whole can rather easily with these guys it's more like you know just 14 crisps um and there are let's see how many servings are in one there's about six servings in in one of these cans so six times 14 crisps is is what you get in this can so yeah i'd probably be able to finish like one sixth or maybe even one third of this can um so I like them, just not quite as much as the, the regular flavored Pringles or the salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar is actually my favorite. So with that in mind, I'll give this like a solid 8.7 out of 10, just under a 9. Um, because they're good, they're really good, and like I said, I don't know how they do it. It gives you the full the flavor effect of a pizza with the cheese, um, the sauce, and the crust, but... There's almost just, just too much, a little too much flavoring for me. Even now, I'm still getting like reverberations of flavor, <laughs> like in the back of my throat. Um, I'm glad I have a bottle of water here with me. But yeah, so it's not bad. Um, would I buy them again? Yeah. I won't de eat these as much as I eat the regular flavored or the salt and vinegar. I won't eat these on the regular, but yeah, I'll buy them again. So solid 8.7 out of 10, just under 9. Um, if you haven't tried the pizza flavored Pringles, try them. It's definitely a unique experience and let me know what y'all think in the comments. Thanks. Be safe, y'all.